Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's After Effects tutorial video, we are going to see a very good looking text decoder effect in Adobe After Effects. So let's preview that what we are going to create. So this is the text decoder effect that we are going to create today and it can be used in a variety of places in almost every animation. You almost have seen in a variety of places where an animation occurs where there is a random text or, or some random numbers which transitions uh, repeatedly and just uh, transitions into that particular character which is of some sense uh, to the viewer. So this is the basic concept behind the text decoder effect. And this is exactly what we are going to create today in our tutorial. So without taking much of your time, let's jump in right into the tutorial. First of all, create a composition. So go to composition and press new composition. Now name it anything that you want. I'm naming it decode text because this is a text that is being decoded. And now I'm keeping a frame rate of 30 frames per second and a background color. I'm going to choose uh, this particular background color, a shade of red with this hexadecimal value. Now click OK. Now you have got your uh, new composition. The next thing that we are going to do is grab onto our uh, text tool, the horizontal type text tool, click anywhere on our composition and just type in the letter T. Now I'm keeping a white color for this. And uh, this is what we are going to first animate is go to effects and presets and search for an effect called decoder fade in. You will find it under animate in uh, within animation presets. Take it and apply it to your text layer. Now, if we just preview. So this is what we have got, but it is not looking very good. So we are going to manipulate some of the values. Press U to bring up the keyframes and bring this end keyframe a little closer to the very first keyframe at uh, and keep the distance between them at about a 15 frames so we want our animation the first character animation to be completed at about 15 frames now select both of them and press f9 to easy ease those keyframes now go to the graph editor from over here click on it and if your graph is looking like this, then it's okay. Otherwise, right click and make sure that the edit speed graph is selected from here. Now select this uh, end point and change the value or the uh, shape of this graph so that it looks somewhat like this. A pointed and then gradually decreasing. Now if we just preview the value. It is looking somewhat like this, but still we got to make some changes. Now what we are going to do is just expand our uh, T, the text layer T. Go to text, expand it. Here you will find an option of animator one. On expanding it, you will find advanced. So just expand this advanced and here you will find opacity. Just make sure to uh, set it to 100%. So what will it do that this opacity will now just keep itself at 100% at all the times, which is what we want. The next thing we are going to do is just turn this randomize order at on. So if we just uh, preview our animation, then it moves fast. And uh, of course, it is of a random order. So you got to increase the value of a random seed and keep it at a 50. Now, if we just preview, then it is looking good. 
Now the only thing that we are going to do is uh, go back to the very first frame in time. Here what we are going to do is press uh, P to bring up the position. Now this is the exact position that we want uh, but make sure to align it to the center first and just manipulate the value of the x coordinate a little bit. I am keeping the value of x coordinate at the 400 and as the y coordinate is considered I have uh, just aligned it to the center. Now moving to around of about a 15 frames where this animation is complete. Here uh, I am just keyframing the value of this position and now I am going back to the very first frame and just changing the value of y coordinate so that it is not in the visibility area anymore. Now if I just play this animation, so this is what I have got and this is how I am going to animate the rest of my layers. So what I am going to do is just duplicate it. Now uh, just move to around 15 frames in time when the animation of the first layer is being completed. A few frames before that and I am going to offset my second layer to a few frames before the completion of this animation. The next thing I am going to do is press P to bring up the position and make some changes in the X coordinate. Instead of 400 I am going to select 600 for both the starting as well as the ending keyframes. So I am keeping a distance of around 200 between uh, my letters like this. But instead of T I want something else like I want E to be present here. So grab onto your text tool and just change the letter at, uh, as E like this. So if we just preview our two letters animation then it looks like this which is pretty cool to look at. Similarly we have duplicated this E again and offset it by a few frames in time. Then press P to bring up position and uh, just manipulate the value of the X coordinate. This time I am keeping the X coordinate at 800. And uh, on the completion change it to X. Now just take this X um, and duplicate this layer. Offset it of by a few frames in time. Press P to bring up the keyframes and change the value of the keyframes. Now keeping a value of X at a thousand for the starting and the ending position keyframes. Press OK. And when this transition is almost completed, just change it to T. So this is what we have got. Now it looks in the sideways so what we can do is just grab on to all these layers together right click and pre-compose them now i'm naming it as text press ok now grab on to your selection tool and just align it to the center like this now if we just go back to the very first frame and preview our animation So this is the text decoder animation that we have got but again this text animation looks a bit plain. So to add some extra effects what can we do is just go to this pre-composition, select uh, an effect called a uh, drop shadow and apply it. Now we are going to just manipulate some of the values over here. Here I am keeping the opacity of a 61%, the distance of 25 and the softness of 42. And once this animation is complete, which is around uh, 2 seconds, what I am going to do is press S to bring up the scale for this pre-composition, keyframe the value of scale at a 100% and move forward to the last frame of my animation which is around 5 seconds and increase its value a little bit to around 120%. Now if we just go back and preview whole of our animation then
this is the animation of the text decoder effect that we have got and i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial and keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge for more such tutorials till then goodbye